How's it going everyone today? Uh, I just wanted to go through a quick setup. I have some uh, Emacs um, 12 amp ESEs for a Spanky Quad 250 and I just could not calibrate my motors uh, through Open Pilot. and the reason being is I had an ESC burn up. I ordered a new ESC and uh, it was not programmed the same and I could not program it through my radio. So I'm just going to go through um, how to use the programming card I'm going to give you the settings I use for my 250 and show you how simple and easy uh, this makes life uh, with a programming card. So you take your ESE and make sure you have it plugged in correctly. Uh, the open tabs go up. It's program card plugged in. We'll get some power. And we got her powered up. Okay, now there are eight different uh, programmable parameters on this ESE, and I'm just going to go through real quick what I have mine set at. Um, number one option is the brake. There, there are two options for on and off, and if you want to change it, um, the middle button right there, and it just changes the option from one to two, I have mine set on one. Um, next option option number two. Option number two is your timing mode. There are five different options. Okay, and I have mine set on number three, which is the middle is 15 degrees. Number three. Uh, number three is your start force. There's 13 different options. It goes one through nine, and your default is number 10, which is 0.75 is what I'm at, and it shows up on the card as an A, not as a 10. Okay, next option is your curve mode. There are four different options, and I have mine on number one for off. Number five is your control frequency. There's two options, eight and 22. I'm going with the 22. Number six, uh, low voltage protection. Uh, there are four different options. I have mine on number four for low, which is... Um, three volts. Once it gets below three volts, it shuts down. Number seven. Option number seven is the cutoff mode. There are two different options. I use the soft cut. Number eight, which I don't believe you can do with these ESCs, and it's your rotational direction. So I just went with uh, option one, which is uh, your normal directions. And if you need to switch your motors, you can do it um, with your motor leads the directions. Um, so I just hope this helps everybody out. Um, you know, you go from programming uh, your ESC in less than a minute. Um, otherwise, uh listening for the beeps and the single beeps and the double beeps it, it just takes forever and, and like I said I was not able um, to get into it with my radio to get it programmed correctly so this is just simple and easy and, and these are my settings and uh, it's what I use for my Spanky 250 so I hope everybody enjoyed the video and uh, buy the programming card it's, it's less than 15 bucks and it, it's well worth the money I'll put the, the links in the description.